Get it up, bitch, I'm drowning up in it. Uh, most of you niggas is lazy. Half of you niggas full gazy. Yeah, I be spitting that crack shit. Cause I was born in that age. Alright, so we about to get into track 14, which is Don't Be Afraid to Be Different. I love that title already. And it's featuring Will Smith. I don't know what is Will is Will rapping on this shit, or is Will just, you know, giving this, you know, P. Diddy swag where you just get on there and motivate somebody and just talk your shit. Let's go ahead and get into it, man. It's don't be afraid to be different. All right, so that was Don't Be Afraid to Be Different featuring Will Smith. And Will Smith did rap on that shit, which was shocking. He said, West Philadelphia. Ah, fuck that. But anyway, um, this track, the beat was a five. And I didn't tell y'all about track 12, which was Limitless. I rated the, the beat a seven. I rated the lyrics a five. I rated the um, content a five and a replay value three. So yeah. But this one right here, the beat is a five. The lyrics is a five. It wasn't no great spectacular lyrics. The content is a nine. Now, what they talking about is a nine. Don't be afraid to be different. Of course, that's what I'm about. But like I said, the content can be great, but the constructs of the song can be trash. And this was an average construct of the song. You get what I'm saying? Like the beat was an old school vibe. That's not that's not the killer, but just how you made the old school vibe and how you did it. It wasn't that hard. It wasn't that fire. You get what I'm saying? So, like I said, the beat is a five. The lyrics is a five. The content is a nine. The replay value is a two. I'm never listening to this shit again, bro. You would have to, like, put a gun to my head and tell me that. Let's make that a one, then. If you got to shoot me, you got to make it a one. You feel what I'm saying? So, I don't know what's going on. We was we was killing it, in, you know, in the, in, the, in the beginning of the album. But now it's starting to, like, it sound like it's... I don't want to say that because we got we got what we got two more left and, and of course Keanu Reeves was in between us so I can't say that Keanu Reeves will bring it back up because that shit fire so we're gonna go ahead and get into Bobby featuring my dad which is his dad and uh, let's go ahead and see what it sounds like. All right, so that was Bobby featuring his dad. And uh, the beat was hard, you know what I'm saying? The beat come on, it demands your attention type shit. Um, so I gave the beat an eight, you know what I'm saying? The beat gets an eight. The flow, the lyrics gets a seven. Cause he was rapping on here, but he wasn't going crazy, you know what I'm saying? But he was rapping. And the content is a six. He's still not rapping about now. He's talking about all these women in here, like make a tidal wave and you know what I'm saying? like. He not really saying much, man. Like, he just talking, popping his shit. So when I say content, that's what I'm talking about. What is the substance of what he's saying? And on this record, he was just popping his shit. You know what I'm saying? He was like, I'm black and white, but you not half the nigga I am. You get what I'm saying? Like, he just popping shit. Like, you not me. I'm logic. You get what I'm saying? So every artist feels that way. They gonna pop their shit. You not better than me. But that don't mean it's substance and it's content. It's content, but it's not substance. You get what I'm saying? So the replay value was a seven. And his dad came on at the end. It was like everybody talking like this, talking like that. But you're not backing on what you're saying from your actions. And so it made me think about what I was saying about Logic and his previous songs that I was talking about on here. Like he's talking about Roly on my wrist, but I ain't seen a Roly. Maybe I'm tripping. He talks about money ain't everything, but he's talking about a lot of money in the album. So is that the same thing or am I off base again? Y'all let me know. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to understand, y'all. Y'all want a full album review hours after this shit came out. You get what I'm saying? So the best that I can do is just this. You know what I'm saying? Like, now a week later, two weeks later, a month later, the album is going to sound different. I have more time to sit and rest with it. You get what I'm saying? But for y'all to want it right now, I'm not about to be listening to this album over and over and over again and the three to four to ten hours that it came out 
I'm going to listen to it right here. I'm going to give y'all my opinion right off the rip. But you got to understand, you're not getting a real full album review in a day or a couple hours. It takes time to really digest this music. And me being an artist, I understand that. But because y'all want this, I'm going to give it to you. Now, if y'all want me to circle back around a couple weeks from now and let y'all know what I think about the album, just like on an updated type thing, I can do that as well. So y'all just let me know, man. But I want y'all to know. Y'all got to drop y'all comments and let me know on certain songs what y'all thinking. Are y'all agreeing with the rating and stuff like that? So we got one more song left and it's called Lost in Translation. I hope you close it out strong. Man. Let's go ahead and get it, man. All right, so that was Lost in Translation. That is the last song on the project. He closed that shit out properly. The beat flips. He had this Kim Kardashian line in there talking about reshaping. That shit was crazy. You say, you come correct, I come correct. -er. Like, old school vibe, old school feel. The beat switched in between like Logic does. You know, he's known for them beat switches. And he did his, that was a, that was a great song. That was a great song. I like what he was talking about. I like the substance. I like the, the old school flow. He's talking about three Andre 3000. Come on, man. You talk about Andre 3000. Come on, man. Y'all need to know about Andre 3000 if you don't know about him. Andre 3000 is one of the goats, man. I'm telling you. Eminem looks at him as that way. A lot of people look at uh, Andre 3000 as the goat, man. So the beat is an eight, man. Beat was fire. The flow, his flow, his delivery on there was stupid, bro. He did the old school type of boom bap flow, but he also did the his shit. When Logic get in his bag and do his shit, it's hard for him. It's, it's hard for people to touch him, man. You know what I'm saying? Like he wanted the best, man. I'm telling you. So my light just went out, so you already know what that means. So check this out. The the content, I like the content. The content was good. You get what I'm saying? I like the content, the substance. I like what he was talking about. Talking about you don't know rap if you don't know this, X, Y, and Z. And the replay value, man. Oh, so the content, I'm gonna give an eight. The replay value is a is an eight as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tally all these up and I'm gonna give y'all the final ranking of the album. So give me a minute, I'm gonna get back and I'm gonna let y'all know exactly what it is, man. All in all, I'm gonna let y'all know in a minute. Let's get it. 